Look how beautiful the ocean is. I should be out there. I should be out there taking cargo, an oil rig, hitting barrels and crates and getting underwater chests and exploring. But I'm stuck in this shitty base. Fuck this. I'm building a boat base, boys. Pop a fricasset here with another base build. First off, we want to throw down the square foundation just below the water line. Hop up and put another raised square foundation next to it. This is going to be our starter one by one. Upgrade this wall to wood and the rest to stone. Throw it in a wooden double door and place down all your starter items. As soon as we have enough metal frags farmed up, we're going to expand the base into a 2x2. Two two. So put down one raised stone foundation and one low square foundation. So we're going to throw down double door frames here and here and make a single door airlock with another double door frame to add a shop front for visibility. Be sure to use a garage door BP if you got it. If not, sheet metal double doors will work fine for now. Delete all your starter items. Now we're going to move on to build the boat hanger. Close up the 2x1. And match the height of the original 2x1 by using half walls and throw on a roof. For the entrance of the boat hanger, it's advisable to use a garage door. If you have sheet metal double doors, um, sometimes it can knock you off the boat, so it's a bit of a problem, but it can still be used. You want to hatch it out this wooden wall and place another roof at half height and close it up. Now we're going to build our first loot room. You can use any loot room design you guys want or you can advi advise you to follow the steps in my video if you want an easy to access loot room that's still relatively high capacity. The placement of the boxes isn't too specific. As long as you can fit between the two barbecues to access the TC, everything should be fine. So up here is going to be our unlootable loot room. Make sure you put the barbecue with the grill opening away from the first box to make placement easier. And throw down a very low wall here, that's going to make it unlootable. For the top shelf, you can throw down a large box just like this, together with a barbecue and another small box beneath it. Importantly, be sure to throw down this campfire so you can jump on top of it to access the boxes in the unlootable loot room. You just hop up and you should be able to reach all the boxes. So just to show you guys, I'm going to throw down a single wooden door inside there. As you can see it's in the large box, all pretty accessible, difficult to read. Right, now we're going to do some upgrading. So the base isn't particularly the strongest base in the world. Um, bases near the coast tend not to be eroded very often. So you just want to keep things sheet metal for now. If you want to save cost, just upgrade the parts I'm upgrading. We're just pretty much just around the TC, the one by one, and around your unlootable loot room. This keeps the rating through the door costs and going through walls around about the same. Here we're going to add a quick drop off box to give the shotgun trap guess someone tries to go deep. You can add some stairs for easy access as well. That's the base boys. Really simple, really handy, a really great boat base. Whether you're heading out to oil rig or ready to take cargo, just hop on back, switch seats, open the garage door and set on into your new boat base. Simple as that, boys. Of course, we have space for our workbench, a furnace, and our sleeping bag. Ideally, this base is for solo duo. Uh, a trio would be pushing it, but if you guys love to see a trio boat base, I'd gladly build one for you guys. And that's the build, boys. Please consider liking and subscribing so we can grow the channel together and I can share more of my awesome baseballs with you guys.